Oh, matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. I see you got on fringes. Did you have on fringes before? Okay, all praises, all praises. Psalm chapter 40, verse 8. Uh -huh. I delight to do thy will. Thy what? Thy will. No, it says the Negro's will in America. I delight to do thy will. The Bible says we must do God's will, not what we think, not what the pastor pork eating, pastor eating, uh, 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 telling us to do. We got to do God's will. Oh my God. Uh huh. Hey, thy law is within my heart. The laws are within us. That's what changes us. That's what conforms our mind. Romans chapter 7 verse 12. Uh -huh. Wherefore the law is holy. Uh -huh. And the commandment holy. Uh -huh. And just. And what? And just. The laws is what make us justified in the eyes of God. Right? Who set, who set the so-called white man over us? God did. Right? Therefore, everything that you see that they do to us is pretty much justified because God did that thing, right? The only reason we're here is because the Negro put us here, right? The white man was not allowed to touch us before we start breaking them commandments, right? Right? The only reason we're here is because we break the commandments, because we don't believe that the laws are just and good. So guess what? The white man gonna make up his own rules. The Lord said, I'm gonna take my hands off. Give me that in Hosea 5. Bring it up. The Lord said, I'm gonna take my hands off. And guess what? It's all fair game now. What's gonna happen if you, what, what if you just allow your children to go play outside by themselves? They four and five years old. What you think gonna happen to them? Hmm. Your mind gonna be rampant. Oh, shoot, they gonna get, they gonna, they, somebody gonna come and take them. Somebody gonna sell them into to, uh, to, to, uh, sex trafficking, who knows? Molested. Right, molested. molested, all kind of things that happen to your babies. So the Lord said, read this. Hosea chapter five, verse 15. Uh -huh. I will go uh -huh. and return to my place. The Lord is speaking right here. He said, look, because y'all acting this way, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave. Y'all don't, don't want me to be a part of this situation. I'm going to leave. So they acknowledge their offense. So the Israelites, to the black and Hispanic and Native American man realizes, right, acknowledges mm -hmm. in their mind mm -hmm. and seek my face. So this time, instead of me chasing and chasing my children, this time, I'm going to wait till you seek my face. Right. I'm going to wait till you wake up and get your mind together, black man, right. Hispanic man. Right? I'm going to wait till you get yourself together and you decide to chase me this time. And you be think yourself and figure out why in the hell are we in this condition if a God in heaven exists? If there's a God in heaven, why do babies die? If there's a God in heaven, how did the white man take our women in slavery, pin them up to a tree, and cut the babies out of their stomach and stump the child dead? How does this happen if a God exists? Read that from the top. I will go and return to my place. Uh huh. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until we acknowledge our offense. Our offenses are our sins. You see, blacks, Hispanics, all throughout this store don't even own by us. We, we don't own this store. If we owned this store and we was in our righteousness, this store would be closed today. Right. right. Because it's the Sabbath day. And we understand uh, this Bible. You understand? And seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. The Bible, the key part in there, in our affliction. It takes for our children, you got children? It takes for them babies to what? Get that butt whipping before they act right. That's right? right? right. It takes that butt, when it, that butt whipping to make them go and wash them dishes, clean their room. Right? Go clean my bathtub. Go clean the bathroom. Go, go uh, sweep and mop my floors. Go clean the kitchen. Go rake my leaves. Go cut my grass. Right? And if they said no, if they slothful, if it ain't done by the time I get off work five o'clock, slaving and working for this damn devil, this white man, if it ain't done by the time I get home, read that again. I will go and return to my place. Uh-huh. So they acknowledge their offense. Uh-huh. And seek my face. And their affliction. And their what? And their affliction. So if if that work is not done by the time I get home, my children ain't do what I told them to do. And their affliction is that ass whooping I give them. 
They will seek me early. Then they gonna seek me. Daddy, daddy, I don't want no more. Daddy, please don't whoop my behind no more. Right. We gonna tear that behind up. Right? And that's exactly what the Lord doing to us right, right here in America. That's right. Right there in uh, Nigeria. Right there in the Congo. Right here in uh, 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 Central and South America. Our people are going through it. Our people are going through it. What you got? You run to the You get, get some Deuteronomy. 48. Chapter 28, verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemy. So when the Lord said, I'm going to turn my face because y'all don't want to obey. He said, therefore, you're going to serve somebody. Right. It may not be me, but you're going to serve somebody. Right? Read that again. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemy. Thy who? Thine enemy. Thy who? Thine enemy. Joshua 6, thy who? Thine enemy. The Most High said you're going to serve somebody, and it's going to be your enemies, if not me. You're going to be keeping somebody customs. You're going to be keeping somebody heritage. You're going to be speaking somebody language, wearing somebody else's clothes, treating your women a different fashion other than what I taught you to treat them like. Right. Raising your children differently than what I raised you like. If you don't want to serve me, you're going to serve somebody. That's right. Read it again. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Thine enemies. Which the Lord uh -huh. shall send against thee. God sent them against us. That's why we in the situation. Because we messed up. God is perfect. God is all knowing. And God is love. The, the church, the, the church used that all the time. But God is love. That's love. Right? If your child run into the middle of the street, five years old, he don't know what he's doing. Chasing a, a, a ball or what have you. Right? You told him to stay in the front lawn. You told him to get in the backyard. Where you safe at. He run in front of that street. You gonna say, hey, 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 what you you gonna say, get your behind out of that street. Then I tell you, get your butt in that house before I will tell you what. That's how you're gonna treat them. That's right. Sarah, chapter 17, verse 18. Bring it out. Whom being his firstborn, uh -huh. he nourisheth uh -huh. with discipline. With what? With discipline. We are God's firstborn. We are the only nation out of all the families of the earth that the Lord has chosen. Therefore, he's gonna nourish us with discipline. That's right. With discipline. And giving him the light of his love does not forsake him. Read. Oh, matter of fact, give me, uh, give me, uh, what is that? Uh, four and six. Deuteronomy four and six. Sir, four and six. The, the Most High has set us apart. The Most High has set us apart from every other nation. We don't look like everybody else. Everything we do, even if it's in sin, we don't look like everybody else. Right? Even if it's sin. Because you got, our people so wicked, man, it's crazy. Look, we got uh, the homosexuals in our community are so damn flamboyant. They go above and beyond just to compensate for the fact that they ain't got a vagina. Right? They the worst. You find a black man being gay, he, he the worst of the gays. Right? Who, we, we do more con uh, iniquity than the other nations. And they ain't been given a law. So our sin is worse. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 6. Uh-huh. Keep them for and do them. Talking about the commandments. For this is your wisdom. For this is your wisdom. This is your wisdom, black man. This is your wisdom and your understanding and the sight of the nations. This is what make us great. This is our wisdom in the sight of all the nations. This is what set us apart. You understand? Those fridges are more than what you understand, black man. I'm not just talking about you, I'm talking about all of, uh, all of our people, right? These fridges have a lot of power in them, right? A sister was healed by just grabbing uh, Christ's fringes. Did you know that? You see what I'm saying? You know that story, right? She grabbed, she was healed by, the, by just grabbing the hem of his garment. That's right. What was she grabbing? She wasn't just grabbing some shirt tail like we walking around with no fringes on. She grabbed his fringes. You see what I'm saying? Because there's power in everything that we do. That's right. There was power in everything we do because this is our understanding. This is our wisdom in the sight of all the nations. They look to us in a glory. They, they, they're in awe. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain.
IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.